Welcome back, everybody. We're going to take a, a little break from cooking to talk about something very, very important. May is National Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and the first Monday of May is called Melanoma Monday, and today would be the day. Uh, it's a, a day that's sponsored by the American Academy of Dermatology, and it helps raise awareness, uh, getting people to, um, you know, uh, think about it, uh, uh, think about, you know, uh, proper sunscreen, getting in to check things out if you're worried about something. And Dr. Betsy Wernley is here from Dermatology Associates to talk about melanoma and skin cancer and all that sorts of stuff. So good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Okay, so I understand there are three major types of, of skin cancer. Can you um, tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. There's um, squamous cell and basal cell, which are the two most common forms, not as deadly as the third kind, a melanoma, which is what today is all about, Melanoma Monday. And all three of these skin cancers outnumber all other cancers combined in cases diagnosed every year. Wow. It's one of those things, too, where if you catch it early, it can make a huge difference, correct? Absolutely. With melanoma, it is the deadly skin cancer. So if you wait too long, it can literally kill you. But if you catch it early enough, there's actually a 91% survival rate. So that's a really good good news for patients. And that's where you guys come in. Um, so uh, what is melanoma? Um, and, uh, you know, how would you know if, you know, you had something on your skin that you should be worried about? So melanoma is um, an abnormal growth of one of the skin cells called the melanocytes, which m causes a pigment in our skin. And when that gets out of control, it produces a abnormal growth called a melanoma. Patients should look for um, anything changing, um, a brown mark that has irregular borders, something that's painful, bleeding, um, basically anything abnormal on their skin should be checked out by a dermatologist. Uh, bleeding, you say, if there's a bleeding, what about moles? I think that we all have moles, and how do you know if that's just, you know, an okay one or if it needs to be checked out? Absolutely. I think it's such a big deal that anything you're concerned about should be checked out by a board certified dermatologist um, and especially people with multiple moles should have an annual skin check whether they think they're changing or not and if there's any doubt they should be checked. A uh, big uh, uh, annual run, uh, melanoma run and walk coming up um, sponsored by Dermatology Associates. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're really excited to be the major sponsor for Anne's Hope. It's a melanoma walk and run. I think it's a 3k walk and a 5k run and it's on May 19th. You can register online. It should be a lot of fun. It's at the Milwaukee Zoo, and all proceeds go to melanoma research and increase in education. It is the most underfunded cancer out there, so we need a lot more help with uh, funding. So that's a way to help and go out and get involved and stay active with your family. Yeah, the weather's uh, finally getting nice. Uh, just get out there and, it, like you say, a walk at the zoo. It sounds like a wonderful Absolutely. afternoon. Also a great cause. Um, and again, all the proceeds from the event uh, go to a group called Anne's Hope. And for more about the run, the walk, you can go to annshope.org. Uh, if you are concerned about uh, a mole or just something on your skin that just, you know, any kind of concerns, it's, it's better to be, you know, uh, safe rather than sorry. As you said, if you catch it early, what a difference it makes. Absolutely. It makes a difference in life or death sometimes. How can people um, get a hold of you? And I know you've got lots of different uh, offices all over. What's the best way to, you know, um, make an appointment and find you? We have a great website, Dermatology Associates of Wisconsin, and you can actually go on there and find a provider that's near you. And I think most people in this area of Wisconsin have a provider very near to them. Thanks, Doctor. Really Thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. Thank you.